What's up guys? This is Rich Tornetta from Technically Fun and today we are going to experiment with a little bit of a I guess natural, uh, not necessarily natural, but what I want to say um, less chemical? No, it's chemical. Uh, less retail? No, it's retail. Um, I guess something less toxic. Toxic, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, this is a Magnaflow muffler. Uh, it's for the 2005 GTO package. Uh, it's two and a half inch in exhaust. It's been used for you know tens of thousands of miles. I decided to upgrade and got a custom three inch exhaust. So this piece right here is probably going to be resold. And if anybody that's ever sold anything on eBay knows, you want it to look nice and pretty uh, before it actually uh, gets pictures taken and goes out for bids. So what are we going to do? We're going to use a very light mixture of baking soda and lemon juice. Now I've already gone ahead and uh, made some of this up. Now you can see it's kind of like a um, like a paste texture and um, we're going to apply that with a chip brush and leave that sit for a little while and it should start to eat away at the rust, loosen it up from the uh, finish. Now I'm lucky here because this is stainless steel so uh, a lot of that rust should relatively fall off. I don't want to get too optimistic. But um, the rust isn't too bad. You can kind of hear that everything's still really solid. Um, there's no holes. There's no problems. Um, so the stainless steel aspect of it really helped out. But we're still going to see if we can get this thing looking nice for its photo finish when we uh, get these things ready for eBay. Okay, nothing too fancy, too pretty. Um, this, as you may recognize, is a standard two-inch chip brush. You can get them at Home Depot and Lowe's real cheap, uh, about a dollar a piece roughly, sometimes cheaper if you know where to get them. And um, we're just going to start here. So mix it around a little bit, make sure it's uh, the paste is uniform. And then we're just going to start brushing it on. You don't have to be Picasso here. Just enough to get this stuff on. Now the, the good part about it being a paste is that um, the gravity tends to uh, work against this stuff obviously as it's dripping and the viscosity keeps it from dripping too far down. It will adhere to the vertical surfaces and um, I'm most likely going to you know do one side, kind of flip it over and then uh, do the other side but uh, it just saves a little bit of time when it sticks on the sides, I'm already starting to see a lot of um, color on this brush, which hopefully means rust, not just dirt. Uh, I'm sure there's just as much dirt on here as there was rust. Now, I should have probably taken this outside and given it a soap and water rinse before, but guys like me, you know, are lazy and uh, I don't know. You just tend to skip steps when you're lazy. I don't know. You get a job, you know. You come home, you try to get some work done on your car. And uh, before you know it, it's time to go to bed. So who's got all that time, you know? Probably you do. I don't know. As you can see, it's starting to get a little bit um, thick. And it's not really a, a paste anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a splash of water. Um, using this very high-tech special water that I got out of the tap and um, this unit right here is uh, known as a uh, water bottle and um, it's made by a high-tech company called Camelback and um, it helps to distribute your uh, H2O over your project and I highly recommend it. Uh, look at that much better. Obviously I had a little bit too much of this H2O water stuff but that's okay because the paste was kind of thick other places and this will uh, allow me to pick some of that stuff up and thin it out, spread it to other places just improvising a little here. It's the first time I've done this so you're you're watching it first for me. I don't know if I've said it in another video but there's something about you know, not being afraid to fail. That uh, helps me to learn a lot. If you're not afraid to fail, 
you make all the failures in the world, you're going to keep failing, which is a good thing, because you'll learn. And the more you learn, the more you stock up in your brain, you're going to remember for next time how to do things better, how to improve. And uh, that's my little philosophy there. Take it or leave it. Some people don't agree, which is fine. We're going to leave this sit for a little bit. Uh, let, let the uh, chemical reaction do its job. Uh, as you know, oxidation is a chemical reaction, which gets the rust there in the first place. This is a chemical reaction that hopefully is going to counter it. Alright, so I went up and mixed some more uh, baking soda and lemon juice. Not sure if you can hear, it's doing a little fizzy sound. That's called a chemical reaction. Now, I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to be a scientist here. Um, all I know is it's making a fizzy fizz. Uh, we got a YouTuber called Edwin T. Socket, or Ed Lester from Showtime Car Audio. Uh, I'm sure that he would know what chemical reaction is going on here and why it happens. But um, for our intents and purposes, we're just going to say that it's doing the fizzy fizz. Okay, now, important safety tip for uh, people that are married. Uh, you want to make sure that you hide the fact that you're using uh, your wife's good bowl and uh, her, her spoon, her nice utensil here. Um, make sure she's going to bed and uh, you kind of throw it in the dishwasher before she uh, can see it. Um, depending on how bad you mess up uh, her utensils or her bowls, uh, sometimes you might want to go out before you get back from work, uh, buy another one. Um, if you're lucky it's at a store. Uh, brick and mortar. If not, you're probably going to have to uh, do the online thing, which uh, which means you're probably going to have to mess around a little bit at work, go on Amazon, and uh, get a replacement. But uh, as you can see, it's starting to uh, clump together, and we're getting a little bit of a paste here. Right now, it's kind of like thick mashed potatoes, and we want something a little thinner than that. So I'm going to take out our high-tech um, H2O dispensary unit again and uh, just going to sprinkle a little bit of that stuff on here um, and uh, that should thin it out a little bit and then just uh, keep on working it you know thin it out it'll eventually get there alright so let's see if uh, the plan worked uh, we got some just regular uh, shop rags from Pet Boys we're gonna dip it in some water start rinsing this baby off and see if we made any progress Okay, now, I don't know how that looks to, to you guys at home, but it looks pretty darn good here. Um, now, these scuffs that you see are my fault. Uh, when I was handling this thing, when we took it down, to when we put it up, or maybe I bottomed out somewhere, it doesn't matter. The key is that this looks really, really nice right now. Uh, definitely sale quality on eBay. Uh, I'm going to do the rest of it, and obviously do the pipes as well, but I'm not going to make you sit through any more of this boring video. But uh, as you can see, it looks really good, and I think that um, if we spend some more time, some more uh, baking soda with our high-tech water, that we'll be able to get this thing nice and cleaned up, get some good pictures of it, and uh, put it up on eBay and see how much we can get for it. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we will catch you next time.